you care what people think about the way you dress, the way you act, your job, your home, your hobbies, your music taste. And these are the reasons why you shouldn't care. And I'm gonna use this to help tell the story. It is human instinct to care what people think as we want to feel accepted, feel part of a group, and yes, to an extent it is necessary, but when you feel like you're not actually able to be who you want to be, then it's definitely more of an issue. I'm home for the weekend because I'm gonna go and see Neo and Mario in concert with my friends, and I'm so excited. So I'm 23, I've spent the last three years living in my 20s and I found it so difficult to navigate life whilst trying to be an adult with everyone is on different timelines, friends getting married, having kids, moving out, traveling, it puts such a pressure on you and I'm always questioning whether I'm ahead or behind on my life timeline and it can be so overwhelming. I recently read a book called 4,000 Weeks, which is equal to the number of weeks you'll live if you are lucky enough to live to 80 years old. Just 4,000 weeks. For me, that really put into perspective actually how little that is and how it is so valuable to really make the most of your life and therefore to live as you want to live. Being 23 means I have lived for 1,200 weeks, which is a pretty good chunk out of the 4,000. I find it is good to talk about how short life is because that can be the change between doing things that make you happy versus doing things that make other people happy. I'm lucky to have a gorgeous treasure box filled with memories and photos from the last 1200 weeks. And looking back on memories helps to remind me of what I've done, how I've grown, and also reminding me and you to continue living our best lives. And to put it into perspective for you as well, these are, these are the number of years you have lived, depending on obviously how old you are. Funnily enough, this is in Centre Parks, and I'm actually going back to the exact same Centre Parks in a couple of months for the first time since then. I was five and a half. I'd lived for 286 weeks. Oh yeah. Do you see the resemblance? Because <laughs> I do, for sure. I was 13 and a half. This was my year eight prom. 702 weeks. This is Tatiana. Girl, you creepy. You can't care what everyone thinks because it is literally impossible to please nearly 8 billion people in the world. But I definitely feel like I have what traits of being a people pleaser, which is definitely something I'm trying to work on to make sure that I feel fulfilled and make sure that I'm, I have my boundaries and I'm actually living my best life. But it's not as easy as just being like, oh, I don't want to be a people pleaser anymore. It's about identifying, number one, if you are a people pleaser. Secondly, what, is the th what are the things that you say yes to, which you don't really want to say yes to, that you don't really enjoy, which don't really bring you fulfillment? So as long as you focus on what you want to focus on and do what you want to do, then that is what makes, that's what matters the most, and that is what life's about. <laughs> Here. Hmm. Kitty. Kitty McFreddy. This next one really, really helps to keep me in check because I often imagine, oh, what would my eight-year-old self be like? What is my ideal eight-year-old self? Something that you might think in the moment, it's so cringy, it's so embarrassing. Like, will your eight-year-old self care? No, they're not gonna, not gonna care. And it doesn't really impact your life more than for the five seconds or five minutes. But I thought I'd go test the theory out. Let's go ask my grandparents. Okay, first one. What would you tell your younger self? Be more outgoing. Be more confident. What would you tell your younger self? Steady as you go. Why do you think you shouldn't care what other people think? 
Oh, it's quite difficult not to care, because uh, it can be very hurtful, but it's just their opinion. Of course, I've always been a person of of confidence. I'm, I'm confident in my own ability. Mm -hmm. I'm con confident in my own judgment. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I base my actions on what I believe in. Mm -hmm. um, and if people think that I'm doing the wrong thing or I'm offending anybody, I'm always apologetic for that. But if it means that, you know, my well-being or my family's well-being is going to be affected by not doing what, 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 what I want to do, then, then I will carry on and do it. What is one piece of advice you give to the world? Be kind. Perfect. Thank you very much. What is one piece of advice that you'd give to the world? Consider the outcome of what decisions you take uh, regarding the human race. Thank you so much. I actually also do want to add on to the interviews that my grandpa at the end, he said, if you'd also have asked me, what would I have changed about my life? He would have said nothing and that he's just so happy with everything he's done and how everything worked out, which I thought was really nice. is such a great thing as you can tell when it comes to not caring but let's also put the earth into perspective to us the earth is a place where everyone's opinion matters it's very inward focused you feel like you've got to act a certain way live a certain way look a certain way but in reality we are on a floating rock survived all the odds of being here today and that is pretty pretty darn sick so who cares, girl? We are in space. We are on a floating rock. I am getting ready to go to the Neo Mario concert with my friends, which I told you about earlier, and I'm so excited. Am I worried that you might be judging me because of my concert and music choice? No, because just think, how boring would life be if we all liked the exact same music, so we all went to the exact same concerts and we all thought the exact same thing? That sounds super boring, right? I can't control what you think of me. I can't control what anyone thinks of me and neither can you. All you can control is what you're doing, how much fun you're having and make sure you're doing things which are authentic to you and bring you happiness and just like, that makes you you. It would be, it's just, it's so much more fun when everyone is an individual. I'm not saying this is easy by the way, but you're making such a great point to actually, actually realize that you wanna just do things more your way and just be more you, which is so, so good. The reality is people care about themselves the most and they don't have a spare five minutes to be caring about what you're wearing, whether you're going to a concert alone, what your job is. So the only thing you can do right is to care about what, how you feel, what do you want to do, what makes you happy. So at least you know you're doing one thing right, which is making sure you're living for you because that's what life's about, isn't it? But anyway, I'm off to the concert. I'm so excited. Ah! <laughs> To sum it up, if you're lucky, you will live for 4,000 weeks. It is impossible for you to please 8 billion people. You gotta think about your 80 year old self. And you're watching this on a floating rock. It's just, we gotta take a minute for that one. I've created a how to not care bucket list, which you can access for free via the link below. And within that download, you also get access to our free exclusive group chat, which is where we'll be chatting and just encouraging each other to live our best lives. So I hope to see you there. So let's make a pact, me and you, that from this day, we will not care so much about what everyone thinks about us with the hope to live a little bit more freely and just be happier being our true selves. That's the end. Mic drop. <laughs> Hello, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to jump on and just say thank you because this is a completely new type of video for me. It was a completely new challenge, but I really, really enjoyed it and I'm definitely gonna be making more of these videos in the future. And if you've made it this far, 
comment this little world because then I'll look at the comments and actually know who who the real ones are who's made it this far but yeah I just want to say thank you so much I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one love ya bye <laughs>